Black Lives Matter founder, co-founder, has made it clear to Biden that uh, Black Lives Matter expects something because they they say that they helped to get the black vote for Biden and they want something in return. They want something in return. But luckily, Joe Biden is no President Trump. So when Black Lives Matter says we'd like to get something in return, they can depend on Joe Biden to come through just the way Democrats have been coming through for the black population for decades. For example, here are some of the important things that Joe Biden has promised the black community. And I think they can be pretty happy about this. Pretty happy. Because you'd think, hey, I wonder if the Democrats will once again make promises and do basically nothing. Unlike President Trump, who literally promised nothing... (laughs) <laughs> and did a whole bunch of things. Everything from the Platinum Plan to special opportunity zones and funding the HB, the historically black colleges, to prison reform. So the president, he didn't promise anything. He said, what the hell do you have to lose? That's as little as you can promise. That's no promise. And he delivered what even, even his uh, critics grudgingly say, okay, you got to admit, that's a lot of stuff. So President Trump delivered for the the black population in this country, even including his critics agree. But Biden can take that up a level. So he's made some promises. And and let me tell you what he's promised. And uh, this is nothing to sneeze at. So um, Biden has promised that as president, he would create a police oversight board to combat police brutality especially against black and minority people, within the first 100 days in the White House. So if you were worried that Biden was going to do nothing, (laughs) don't worry anymore, because he's going to put together a police oversight board. I don't know why nobody thought of that before. Put together a little committee. Huh? How about that? Yeah. (laughs) So I think the black population is pretty happy about that, because nobody ever promised to put a a meeting together. But that's not all. There's way more than that. Uh, Biden has also promised to create an economic plan that provides housing, education, and financial support. Those are all good things. Housing, education, financial support. This is good stuff that Joe Biden is is planning to give. Um, And he says, as financial support to the black and Latino communities who have been disproportionately affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Wait, what? Am I reading this correctly? That Joe Biden is going to give uh, emergency relief based on your race? (laughs) Is that actually happening? Joe Biden decided that your race would determine how much uh, emergency support you get? Isn't that the opposite of what a president should do? That's like exactly the opposite. Isn't it? Shouldn't the president make sure that everybody who's in trouble during a pandemic gets help? Sort of close to equal amount of help? Now, I don't know if this is talking about an equal amount of help or some kind of special help. If what it's getting at is an equal amount of help, I'm all for it. But it doesn't sound like that, does it? So Joe Biden's got some promises he needs to keep. Uh, I think he has duped the black voters, as the Democrats have been doing for years, but successfully. Looks like he got away with it. 